please explain how you're going to do this. Um, start with Mr. Jensen. like to look at is our situation as a county. We only have a certain amount of tax dollars that are coming in. Your taxes are paid in, and it's our responsibility as commissioners to stay within that tax budget. Now, if we have to cut services, we have to cut services. If we have to cut uh, people's salary, we have to do whatever we have to do to cut people, whatever we have to do to stay within the amount of tax dollars that you have. There is no way that we can take in money and not spend it wisely. We're doing it right now. We're going over our budget as we uh, each year. We can't continue to do that if your taxes are to have to go up. If you want the services, then your taxes have to go up and pay for them. Not when we stay within the amount of money that we have coming in. Right now, Alice County has some point around $14 million worth of taxes coming in. We should be able to try to stay within that amount of money. And that is our job as commissioners to see that we do that. Cut wherever we have to cut, cut the fat. It's, it's a different situation than everything else. That's our job as commissioner to see that we do this for you. And I appreciate it. First and foremost, we have a balanced budget. For the past four years, we've all taxes back for the past three out of four years. We do pass a balanced budget. I've got along beside me, I've got four commissioners. They help pass this budget. We do have a balanced budget. The second thing I would, I'd like to reiterate here is that we stay within the confines of our budget. I can't or nobody can foresee when gas at this same time last year, we have spent $150,000 more in fuel that we can't budget for. However, we have opened up a new 911 center. We've opened up a new level four gymnasium. We've opened up a uh, animal control center and we still stay within the confines of our budget. So we have a balanced budget and I've got four commissioners that vote along beside me to make sure that we stay within that confine. Just wait here, Mr. Cooper, let you go first this time since you're already up here. Uh, second question, what do you believe are the strengths and weaknesses in our county currently? How do you plan to improve these weaknesses while maintaining the strengths at the same time? First of all, I believe the strength we've got is the people that we got built here. Secondly, I believe that we can look and do a better job once we get a grasp of what we outgrown. Actually, we've outgrown the tax base here in this county. However, I think we do a pretty good job of managing what we have. We have a $13.7 million budget. Again, we have not raised taxes for one of the four years that we've been in office. The past three years, we rolled back the taxes. And I think if you look at all the programs that we have brought to the citizens of this county, the animal control, shelter, the 911, state of the art 911 center, as well as a number four gymnasium with a senior center complex, I think we've done a pretty good job. And what, what we can do better, hopefully the economy will get better. And I will be the first to tell you, I will not hope to raise taxes on the the back of the citizens of this county. I'd rather look at the essentials and look at maybe prioritizing. And if we have to cut services, I would not look at cutting services on any public safety or any of the citizens. We look at other ways that we could cut services without involving the citizens of this county. Well, I have to agree with Adam. The strength of our county is the people of Alston County. 
It's our job to keep everything tied and knit together. We have, like I said, we have savings in our budget. Which I'm sure is 13.7 million. You know, we have savings in that. So we shouldn't have anything above what our projected revenue is. Savings in that. Cut the services you have to cut. Uh, one of the weaknesses is we don't have enough water. That's what one of our weaknesses is right now within our county. There's no way you can get industry to come in if you don't have water. We have just enough water to supply the families that we have now. So we've got to increase our water reservoir. And we're working on that. The county commission is all in for this. And we've got to work toward getting water so we can increase businesses in the county to be able to get the tax revenue up, benefit, be able to get more services. And that's what we're thinking. And I thank you for your time.